Hello everyone and welcome to Anuradha and Harini Innovative Channel. Today we are going to have a past learning history session. So, are you all ready? In my latest video, we spoke about how France became Republic, right? Let's learn more about this chapter in French Revolution Part 3. Let's start now. In this video, we will be learning about Jacobins and the region of terror. First, let me tell you who are the Jacobins. The most successful of all the clubs was the Jacobins Club. And how did it get its name? It got its name from the former convent of St. Jacob in Paris. And all these members of the Jacobin club, all of them belong to the less prosperous sections of the society. Like, you know, shopkeepers, um, like people who do not earn very much, right? Let's learn more about Jacobins. Who needed this entire group? The leader was Maximilian Robespierre. And a large group among the Jacobins decided to start wearing long strips trousers. Now, why do they want to wear only this, that is long strip trousers? Because they want to show that we are different from the nobles who wore knee breeches. These Jacobins came to be known as sand collets, which really means those without knee breeches. So now they know they got a famous name, which is sand collet. Sans colored men wore in addition the red cap that symbolized liberty. Women were however not allowed to do so. So this is a picture of the Jacobin. This is how they looked. You know, you can see the long strip trousers. You already know why they wore it because they wanted to tell that we are different from nobles. Let's learn more about it. So now let's learn more about the Jacobin. In the summer of 1792, the Jacobins planned an insertion of a large number of Persians who were angered by the short supplies and high prices of food. So now, I've already told you that France was under a substance crisis. Many people were angry. So what did the Jacobins do? They planned an insertion. On the morning of August 10, all of them stormed the palace of Turilis, massacred the king's guards and held the king himself as hostage for several hours. So now you see the anger and the revolting subjects. Okay. Afterwards, the later voted to imprison the royal family. Now, you all know the royal family is Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette, right? So all of them, they were so angry with them the king and the queen, that they voted to imprison them. Elections were held and from now on, all men of 25 years and above, regardless of wealth, got the right to vote. Finally, now, uh, men of 25 years and above, no need of, you know, paying three days labor's wage, being the highest uh, qualifier of taxpayer, all that is not needed now. But still, women are not given the right to vote. We'll learn about women later. Let's learn about the Jacobins now. The newly elected assembly was called the Convention. On 21st September 1792, it abolished the monarchy and declared France a republic. Finally, now we've seen that France has become republic. So now, you know, people were very angry with Louis XVI and he was already in prison, right? So what happened? Louis XVI was sentenced to death by a court on the charge of treason. And on 21st January 1793, he was executed also. Where was he executed? He was executed at the palace of de la Concordie. The Queen Mary Antoinette met with the same fate shortly after. So now let's learn how the Jacobins had a great downfall. So now let's learn about the region of terror. The period from 1793 to 94 
is referred to as the Legion of Terror. I've already told you that Maximilian Robespierre, he was the leader for the Jacobins, right? But nobody liked Robespierre. Let's learn why. Robespierre followed a policy of severe control and punishment. All those whom he saw as being enemies. Why is enemies in quotations? Because it can be anyone. ex nobles clergy, members of other political parties, members of his own party. Anyone who did not agree with his methods, they were arrested, imprisoned and then tried by a revolutionary tribunal. If the court found them guilty, they were guillotined. What do you mean by guillotined? Guillotine is a device which has two poles and a blade with which a person is beheaded. So if you do even a small mistake, you are beheaded. Matter of life and death. It was named after Dr. Guillotine who invented it. Okay, let's learn how Robespierre's region of terror came to an end. Robespierre pursued his policy so relentlessly that even his supporters began to demand moderation. Finally, he was convicted by a court in July 1794 and arrested on the next day and this way he treated his people even he was doing at time. Let's see a picture of uh, Maximilian Robespierre. So this is how he looked. So I hope you've understood Jacobins and the region of terror. With this, I would like to end today's video session. I hope all of you have understood whatever I thought today. Please keep waiting for more parts. For now, bye! And remember, please like and subscribe to our channel. Bye everyone!